Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. This is Shabby Doo and today we're going to bring another Shabby experience with a new series called Little Big Workshop. And we're going to jump right in here, but quick overview of it. What the game is, is kind of what you can see in front of us. We're going to set up a sweatshop and we are going to put people to work and make a crap ton of money. Alright, easy. So, new game, let's see here. Shabby Doo. We do good, so sh Shabby Doo goods. There we go. Let that roll through. All right, perfect. Yeah, so it's a cute little game. It looks like it's played on a tabletop, so it looks like we just moved in here, or just got a bunch of boxes, so we'd like to sit by ourselves and play with dolls and make a fake workshop. Perfect, there's my first two workers. Alright, move the camera. We'll do the tutorial here. Usually I skip it, but I want to make this first episode for you guys, kind of like how you would be playing it. Oh, hello there. I just opened up a new shop close to your factory. And seeing as you're new here, maybe we could help each other out. Get yourself a workbench. Take a look around. I'll call you in a bit. Well, thanks, you crazy gnome. It's also on the cover of this book right here. Crazy Steve. How to carve gnome. All right. So let's go here. So you can see here the workstation stats for this. You can see it does all these different things, but only at 25%. So like, for instance, if we look at the sewing station, it'll sew at 100% speed. A uh, small boundary that'll melt steel at 100%, etc. So this does a lot more. It's just very inefficient. So we're not going to keep these for long. It's just going to help us in the beginning. Perfect. Here that comes. Speed it up a bit. Look at that grass grow. So beautiful. Oh, here he is. Oh, ho, you got yourself a workbench, I see. My stuff of garden gnomes are getting pretty low. Can you make a couple for me? Yeah, sure you got. Let's plan the product. So, this is, I'm going to skip these real quick just so I can quickly tell you. So, what this does is this is the um, schematic here for how to build whatever we're going to do. It's always going to look the same, or the background at least, and have something similar to this, which can branch out to 20 different items or more. So, we're going to make, this is the end product here. You can drag it around to make this look better too, or bring it close. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set this up to a station that carves wood, or chisels wood. So that's this boy here. And then normally you would select the what product as well, because it can be many types. This only has one, so it's not going to ask us, but otherwise you would just right click it and hit that, and then we can hit execute. Now you saw a mount right here. It's going to be set to three, because that's what the quest is for, or this contract. So, but if, when you do your own stuff, you can set that number up to be whatever you want. And we'll get into that once we get to that part. Oh, let's make a staging place, so... I'm going to put it right here for now. Oop. Good. Go. So yeah, I was yelling at me because it didn't have any place to put product or materials. Alright, look at that. Carved gnomes done. Deliver that. Easy money. Send that off. Perfect. Three grand. Easy contract. Oh, now wants us to look at the money. Here's our, you know, little PL statement here. So, you can break that down however you want later. Alright, yep. That's good. Call them back. Oh, hey again. The new domes are hit, and I want to put up more of them for sale. Can you make some shelves I can use for that? Yeah, sure. Let's play the product here. So attributes define the quality of your product. So basically, this is the durability, and whoop, yep, and this is the aesthetic, the style. So durability, style. So we need it to be, you know, at least two to four, or six and six to twelve style as well. So it's telling us, you know, attributes are determined by the type. You know, if it if I pick this red one with how it's exactly set up now, I won't be able to hit the the minimum requirements. So I have to pick this one, but that can also be changed by the type of wood you use. So like this is where I was saying the types come in. You can see this one is one durability, three cool. <clears throat> this one's two durability, four cool, but it's also six bucks more. So it's 33% more. So that's why you want to 
playing around that kind of stuff. So select my wood, same here, select my wood. And I have to set up a station. So I don't have an assembly station. So it's telling me, oh, I need something. So if I click it, it's going to let me go right out here and buy it. Oh, I'm just going to put you just right there. We'll be reorganizing all this later because this will go away very quickly. Yep, go there. Okay, now I can go back to the planning mode here. Set this over to our only station. And there's the same thing for these here. I only have one station. I'm not building a second one of these. I can't remember if the quest makes me or not, but I'm not going to. Oh, one of my workers passed out. So we need to build break room. So, and you can't do it during the quest, during the tutorial before this happens, which is kind of dumb. But so I can put a coffee maker in. I'm gonna do it. Man, I hate using this room because it's so big. But let's just put it here. All right, and I'm gonna do this how I usually set them up. I always put like one of each in there, and then I try and get some small product in. So like, oops, this bad boy. Put that. And then, oh, you're not going to let me do anything more. All right, order that. Fine. Eventually, what I'm going to do when I can uh, build rooms, I'll divide this like right in half. Put another door in. I'll make this two break rooms or something. Or I'll build just another break room. Maybe like right here, just a little tiny boy. Uh, but for now, it'll go over there. I was thinking about putting it here, but it's just so in the way. I want to have my assembly station over here, actually. Oh, that boy's passed out. We'll just... Um... Forget it. Gotta double check to see if there's a rotate button. Alright, E and Q. Move that. Oh, nope, that's just the rotate the screen. Oh. I'll just, I will pause. So, control. Uh, da, 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 da. Shortcuts. Workstation repair priority. Okay. Building. Rotate selection R. Well, I guess that was very clear, huh? So, one more time. You. Aha. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna want to put it like right there, like that. Here? Yep. I know it's not gonna be ideal to get around here, but it's just gonna increase traffic flow if I don't let them through. It's only, you know, it's only temporary, anyways. Why do I care? Let's just go here. Be replacing this whole thing anyways. Alright. So we'll let these guys just carry on. This is also why I don't like the tutorial, just because it locks everything. So like, even if I wanted to build a second anything, like I would have put a second assembly station because you're always going to need those. Deliver. Um, it won't let me. It, it's dumb how it does it, but I get it. They're holding your hand, so I'll limit you as much as possible while they hold you. Oh, there we go. 2,500 bucks. More experience. Oh, the gnomes and shells. I reckon on that. I'm set for a while. I'll get back to you later if something new comes up. Meanwhile, you should check the market. There are lots of folks out around here that need all kinds of supplies. Laters! Alright, next. So, here's the market. So, here's everything that's out there right now for basic. So, uh, this is general market. Products are requested continuously. You can use this as a stable source of income. So, these tags give you a rough idea of what kind of product production that is required. So, right here, that's a plastics icon. 
small project size mass production so like it's plastic we don't have a plastic machine we will though because i love plastic and then so this is the price and demand so right now there's skills that you can see trends in the future but here lo very low demand price is kind of medium it's a pretty decent deal but you can only do seven of those like that's what you got to watch out for and then minimum attributes got it oh yeah so it's going to want us to build this High demand, yep, okay. Plan the product. So this is why I'm going to do this real quick. Ah, uh, it's still in the tutorial. Damn it, I thought I could get away with it. Alright, so let's just put this in. Yep. Blank it. Get it. Blank it there. Wants me to do seven of them. Execute. Now that is a great contract. Woodworking is a good way to get money. It's, it's generally pretty cheap. Uh, it just has a lot of moving pieces. But the good thing about, um, you know, if you're going to do side contracts, I always say, like, especially in your first playthrough, pick one type of production to be your main production, and then you can work on, like, some sub stuff. That way, while you do contracts, you can always kind of have that main aspect that you're doing going on in the background. So, like, if I was working on contracts for the story mode just to progress the story and, and all my different clients when we see them, you know, if I'm maining in wood, I could have some extra wood stuff in the back and just have, like, different productions going to keep up the cost, keep revenues going. Oh, inspect. Inspect it by right-clicking on it. This job is going to take a really long time to finish. I mean, it's not, but... Okay, we'll build another assembly station because it wants to. I'm glad though. Tomorrow, I mean, it's almost done anyways. But oh, I didn't hit order. See how? So like, once there's a lot of traffic or a lot of stuff on the ground, you move slower. Um, I'm trying to remember what the buttons were. Open the market so they're done. So right here, you can click on it and we'll deliver it. I'll take a look here. Uh, take, uh, controls. I'll go rooms by home. What a weird button. So right here. So end. So this is how fast I'm going to move through. So in these completely clean areas, they'll move through very quickly at full speed. Uh, yellow, they'll start to slow down, and red's like a hazard kind of zone, so they'll move very slowly through it. Like you can see here, going out the door, if they follow that path, they'll move just fine. But if they cut straight across, they'll kind of tiptoe, tiptoe right through. All right, we'll hire a worker. Sure, don't know why we need it right now, but... Oh, it's a disaster! The gnomes you made for me already sold out, and I need more now! I'll pay you anything! Anything, crazy Steve? You need six, so it remembers the last time you made the, the item, as long as it still fits. Oh, there's no minimum requirements, but as long as it still fits the minimum requirements, it'll tell you what you did prior. So you, I can just go right in and just hit execute. Now, the only difference here is I have... Oh, yeah, there's no... Let's say I have two of these, but... Can I buy decorations yet? No. no let the, I like how it told me to buy a third person, but it's giving me a contract that requires one machine, and it's not going to let me buy more either right now. So it's like, why would you hire? Why would I hire a third person for a one person job? But it's fine. So right here, you can see these the electric sparks coming out of the assembly station that has no electricity to it. Uh, what this means is that it's breaking down. So if you hold control, you can see the status of the machines. I just hit repair. So if you hold it and then click, it'll turn blue like this and let you know that it's in line to be repaired next. So there they go. Thank you. All right, deliver these. Maybe we can take a job and it takes more than one person so I can get my money's worth out of this guy that I'm paying 150 bucks a day for. 
All right, let's check our relations here. So you'll get multiple as you unlock them, but so here's Crazy Steve. So right now we're acquaintance at 9,500. We'll level him up, and he'll start give. We'll start. He'll start asking for more difficult things. I can see here, um, lower levels. He'll want gnomes and whatnot. It's not always the same. It, it could change. Like he could say he wants shelves, um, drums and grills. Those are kind of his progression there. Keywords: cheap, small orders, random, crazy. Yeah, I knew, I know. All right, view career goals. So this is how you kind of. Uh, progress through the game and quote unquote level up. So now that we did the tutorial, they're going to unlock everything for us and let us do our own job. Oh, yeah, we don't need more info. So just look at this. So to get to the next one, I need to deliver more than 100 products, complete at least three client challenges, execute a plan with a billboard, and reach factory level five. So let, let's get a contract started real quick just while I'm sitting here doing nothing. Um, wow, these are all in incredibly terrible to do with what I have available right now. Just kind of look at the prices of everything. Demand, it's kind of rising. So let's see, plan product, Jesus, that's the issue here. All right, let me just do this first. So let's go, I'm gonna level up my storage. So I can just turn this into an export station. Okay, so that means any finished product should just go right here. All right, let's see. Let's, let's check, no, no challenges, geez. Okay, we're gonna need to build some more stations here. But first, let's do ducks. Everyone loves ducks. So we can do 40 of those, so I need a plast. I need a molding machine. So we're gonna buy that real quick. One of those. You know what? Um, and we need a painting machine. And what color is it? There it is. Paint station. Perfect. All right, we're gonna order that. And then, oh, you know what? These are a little more expensive. But you know what? This will give me two people. So I'm gonna plan. Let me sell them. Perfect. So. I'm going to just, yeah, if you double click a node, you'll also select all the nodes. Yep, that's fine. I'm going to make blue ducks. I get to our plastic machine that's being delivered, like this, to our paint machine here. Then we're going to execute. We're going to do 40 of these because it should be pretty quick with two people. And then I'll at least keep them busy for a bit while we do some other things here. Perfect. We got that going here. Awesome. Oh, yeah. So finally, decorations. So. We need these are trophies you get as you like do certain things in the masteries of the game <clears throat> and they carry through so decorations make a room happy just to show you here we go so right here if you hit home you can see the happiness of the room uh this is at a yellowy color so it's like not happy they're going to be at less production here because of the noise in the room so i'm just going to buy a decoration we're going to get the plant i'm going to put it oops Gonna dump it right in the corner there, and I'm also gonna put in one of these things. Uh, no, these things give uh, double the happiness. That's why they're so great when you have them. When you get them from maxing out contract or maxing out your relationship with your contracts, as well as getting mastery in that in that certain specific category. Like this one, putting down to wood. Doesn't matter what room you put them in; they do the same thing. Times two. And they do not stack. So you can't have a times two and another times two. It just won't do anything. Perfect. So those guys are going to get going. Yeah, yeah. I know. We already went over that. That's obstruction. You can see here that is like a little slow there. So what I'm actually just going to do real quick, I'm going to just drag that in just a little bit. And once that gets moved in, a little cleaner. Still not great, obviously, but it'll do. All right, perfect. So that's that. I'm going to do the same thing in this room. We're going to just put in a little plant. That's it right there. Okay. I'm going to order that. Let's see what this does for the happiness here. All right, 
pretty neutral happiness. So mood 10, mood, mood 10, mood 19, I'll take it for now. All right, we're making ducks. Let's see, what else can we start doing here? Nothing really. I mean, I could do. There for a moment. I got plenty of money. If I drop this boy here. So actually now if I take you, can you fit that? Oh, you can't fit. Alright, order that. Yep. So with that, I'm going to start a second contract and I'm going to work on buckets. So I'm just going to do like 20 of these. Okay. Because it requires, actually, no, I'm going to just do 10 because this is just going to be a little side hustle here. So pellets, yellow sh or red shovel, yellow bucket. If you don't recognize that, you're too young. So, connect that here. And just connect it right to the same one just to keep everything busy here. And then this assembly, put it right there. I'm hitting batch. This means it'll do five products at a time. So it'll make, they'll make five shovels, then five buckets, or vice versa. So that way, if keeps a little busy. Perfect. All right, so now we've got some stuff going on here. Here's our timer. So when that ticks over, this will be a new day. And at that point, we'll probably get some challenges. You can see the market will update in three hours, so all this will change. So everything will move forward a tick. You can see price increases, decreases, etc. Speed through. Uh huh. There we go. So new day. So now we have a challenge here. So doing these will get us reputation rewards and also some cash. Not great cash because it's always at like a lesser rate than if you just made them and sold them in the market. But it's the reputation you want out of these. And their very last quest can be incredibly lucrative. So this guy, he wants dollar horses. So I'm just going to wait a bit here. Actually, you know what? No, we'll start it because all these ones don't matter. So let's see. Create the plan. So it's all wood carving and painting. So what I can do, and this is just a good thing to show you. I'm going to start this, put this up on my one woodworking bench. And with the wood carver here, boom, painter, boom, batching. All right. And I'm going to hit execute. Now... What I can do is I can change the priority of these right here. So move pro move to top priority. So this is a time limit. This is not. It's just from the market. So I don't care about that. So what I'm going to do is tell this to be top priority. So now all the tasks in here will shift shift around. And instead of it, them making double O quacks, they're going to work on the dollar horse. So we're just going to let that run here. And then my third guy that they made me hire, he's just over here making buckets. So, you know, it's always good. You don't want people sitting around doing nothing. You know, just like real life. If they're not working, they're not making you a dollar. So we're going to make sure we're always going to be utilizing all of our people. Yep, really hard later because sometimes you just can't tell who's working and not working. But, oops, so right here. So what is this saying? No storage space available. Oh, we need more storage. Okay, you know what? Take this. You are now just normal storage. Okay, go. To separate your finished products into a zone of their own. I know. I just I just took them off. So because we needed we needed space. Now I'm just gonna bring you right on out as well. Actually, you know what? That might be fine. So let's just change you to export again. And you know I don't need the cash, but what I can do. Double o'clock. Let me see the market here. So it's going up. I might just hold on to those for a bit. It might keep going higher. So I'm going to hold off on the deliverables. Kind of see what happens there. Look at these guys go. Good little workers. All right. I'm going to let this play out. So I'm just going to I'm going to pause the video here and then just kind of skip ahead. So that way you don't have to. You know, just kind of sit here watching this little part. 
All right, I brought you back in here. I just wanted to show you before the contract ended. You know, we can see we're at 12 out of 15, 100% completed items. And what you'll notice here, see how this bar is green? This is where we are right now in comparison. This is essentially the timeline. It would be reversed if it was red. If it was red and up here, that means this is how many we have completed. And this is the time moving. And once that time got to the end, we'd lose. So if it's green, it's good. It just means you're ahead of schedule. If it's red, that's how far behind you are. And if you see that, you need to pause what you're doing and figure out why you're on the red and try and fix it, or you're going to fail your contract. And sometimes that can be pretty bad because um, they'll take whatever product you have at the time at a reduced rate, but then any product you have left over after that, you might not be able to get rid of because it might not be in the market. And, you know, if that's the case, then you either have to throw it away right here and lose the money from it or you have to hold it and hope the market kind of swings in All right deliver that you'll see here i've got this young lady with a hat on she's a hauler so she her only job is to move things from a to b she's our pick thing pick things up and put things down kind of guy so she'll move these guys will put the finished product in here and she'll take it and put it over here and same with any materials that come in like as we get bigger haulers we'll move them from like a storage location over to where they need to to actually hit the workbenches and whatnot all right this is awesome. I'm going to get a big cake with a two on it to celebrate our increased level. So I must have leveled up with him. So we got payment, gained experience. We got made a little bit of money. And again, you know, double little quack right back on top. And we'll keep these churning. So I can see here I've got a little cog. I have an improvement point. So, yep, yep, that's nice. So what I'm going to do... Um, you know, I'm going to get this to build. Oh, I need two points. Oh, I don't need the billboard, though. So I'm going to hold off on that for a moment. I do need it to complete this, but I need to hit factory level five anyways. So I've got, we've got things to do. All right, yeah, so we got a painter there. Let's just check the market, see what's going on. You know, these haven't shifted much. It's 182, so this price is going down. We're going to sell these immediately once they're done. This is rising, so I'm going to hold those for a bit. And you know, 16, 119, 145. So I might sell these here because demand's dropping a bit. We don't know. It could shoot right back up. This could dip down too. Without market analysis, we don't know exactly what's going to happen here. So we'll get those ready to sell. And we'll figure out our next product. So, boom, that, deliver those. Good little side hustle. And you know what? I'm just going to do the same thing. 160 plan product. We'll get another 10 of them going. Perfect. And then we'll, we'll sell our double quacks as well. They're all going to be painted in a second here. Perfect. Do that. Deliver all those. Get a bit more cash. Level up. Perfect. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to get wood production. So with that, we're going to get some better better items here. Oop, yep. Could avoid building too many workbenches. Machines are much more efficient. Yeah, they are. Greetings. Uh -huh. I represent Wikia, the global furniture company. We need another subcontractor. We need you, maybe 50. We require a small amount of wooden parts for one of our best-selling products. The grand. Shelf. Shells. So, this is the shelf he wants. So, let's see. Oop, oop, nope. Plan. So, here, like, you know, wood, it needs to be cut if I set it up, you know, right here for right now. And then this here. So, I need a shelf support. Oop, right click. And so, doesn't matter which one I pick. One's metal, though. So, make sure you know how to do that. So I need glue for this. I think I need glue for any of them as well. Oh no, no glue. So cutting a jig and a, a regular cut. But I'm going to want a glue station. So I'm going to pick this one. And then, you know, pick our wood. How many does he need? He needs eight. So I don't think we'd be able to do it with this. So what I'm going to do, planning mode. We're going to build here. So here's a glue station. So I'm going to put that 
man. I don't know how. See, I I need this room. I really do. All right, gonna do that right there. That's my glue station. Three grand, and then. 100% jig, 50% cut. Um, no, and we're just going to do this bad boy here. But I'm going to put it. No way. Because I can put it all over here real quick. There we go. You move. Oh boy. This is, this is what I hate about the beginning here. Because the rooms are just so small. You know what? It's just going to have to be in the way. Then you. Go there. Alright, order that up. Now, I'm going to be low on money, so i got to make sure I'm really... This right here is like your estimating current profits per hour. That's based on your cost for property value. Also, your salaries, etc. And then what you can sell for, what you're building. Oh yeah, you can specialize people later. We'll look at all that another time though, because we don't have it yet. So, perfect. So I've got that going. That's going to come in right now. So let's just, let's do this boy here. So, oops, nope, not accept. Great plan. So now cutting, I'm going to throw this over here. Gluing is going to go right here. And now I'm also going to set this one up at the slow one, just so more people can be working at the same time. And I'm going to set this up. Here, if I had a billboard, I could link that billboard to both machines and then link that product to the billboard. It would split it evenly between all the machines attached. But I don't, and I don't care too much about it, so we'll take care of that after. What I can just do, do this. High priority. Yep. And then I can take these three and hit move to right here. Didn't even do it. I always right click when I should left click. There we go. There we go. Then with this, I'll move like these four over here. Perfect. So now all the products are going to come in. And what I do want to do real quick. Here it is. I wanted. Oops. Can I not? Where are they? Wanted... Oh, here they are. Large shell. I put that shelf right there. Order that up. Perfect. You know, selling those, selling all that stuff right there. Probably back to nine grand. So we're still sitting pretty good. Uh, you know what? I, w I need to make this room a little better. So put a sweet key yeah, right. Just put a little statue just to help this stupid thing out sit in the middle of my room. Will drain me below fifty percent. I don't think that's the case at all. Alright, so I gotta repair that, repair that. There we go. Alright, once we finish this, we will call the video here. But you can see here, we're in a good spot. This is where I'm at currently. This is where projected if I was on a on only at the exact speed. So we're well ahead of schedule. We're gonna finish this no problem. Still got you know little sandbox kit being made at the same time. Now I can check the challenges. So you know I could also do this. And same thing, get this going over here real quick. But I'm not going to set this up because I don't want to have two challenges at the same time. Let's see. Nothing's being done here. And actually, nothing's being done here either, so I can just set that up. It looks like they're probably just assembling now. So let's create the plan. Boom. Put that there. Actually, sorry. Straight cut. Goes over here. I'll still have to chisel out here. That's fine, though. Nothing else I can really do about that. Did I do that right? Yeah. Then same with painting, that'll be over there, and boom, execute. Because I had, this is probably all just an assembly right now, so. Oh, you know what, they're gluing. That's what they're doing. Which is fine. Keep on gluing. And you can see they're stacking stuff up on the shelves, so it just makes it much neater. And only certain things can go on shelves. Like, you can build pretty large items later, and they have to sit on the floor, obviously. Like a canoe. 
mean, you can put one on a shelf, theoretically, but not here. Alright, that's going good. We're almost done. See, look, dollar horse, it's behind. I didn't make it a priority. But, like, they were still doing other things, so we're going to deliver that, finish that contract. And you can see, look, it's catching up pretty easily here. Like, we'll, we should still have no issues getting this done, even though I messed up in the beginning a bit. So we'll watch that catch up. This is a good example of how it can look. So we got our five grand for our Suikia and gained 2250 experience with them. We could take a look at that relationship here. And, you know, we can see here we've got him at level two. As you build a reputation with the customer, they will become more friendly, pay better, and request production from you more frequently. Now let's see, research. So now, I'm going to do... So I've got four points. We are going to do construction tools because I want to make this place bigger. And I'm also just going to get the billboard because I don't care about eco-friendly materials. That's not what this factory is going to be about. So with that billboard, let me try and see if I can sneak that, that boy right. Oop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can't fit it in there. I was going to try and sneak it in, but fine. I don't need it. I can do it manually for a bit. So what we're going to do, though, we got OK money. Let's remodel, and that's how we'll end this episode. So right here, this, do that. It needs a door. This thing. I'm gonna move it right here for now. Not efficient, but I need it out of the way so I can put this door down. Thank you. Door, right there. And then this is going to go like that. I'm going to delete that wall. So that way, this can wrap around. Perfect. Got it. Order this. So now we've got the builders in here. Then we're going to move. While this is all going on, see, look. Look at our dollar horses. Put those dollar bills. Once this room is complete, we're going to move this break room into here. This will become a new functioning room, and maybe I'll make this set up to be like a, a woodworking room. Keep this plastic. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. So this. Move this. There. Move this. Oh, I didn't hit save. I just did it again. Wait. That there. Ah, I can't fit in the corner there. Fine. I think this one's small. Oh. There we go. Try that. So yeah, it's just worker collapse. I was in the middle of moving the room, so they went for a break. They passed out. They're lazy. They couldn't wait. I bought them a radio, so they should be pretty damn happy with themselves. Alright, so let's just fix this up a bit here. We'll put you there. Yes. You there. Well, you know what? Nope. That one. Gotta wait for that to move. Way. You right there. That thing to move. I'm gonna put you here. Fine for the moment. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a zone right here. Take a place outside. There we go. That's how it was outside. And then you can link these to stations. So we're going to take this, hit the little link button, hold control. Oops, sorry. Hit shift. Yeah, hold shift. And I'm going to put it to both of those. So now you can see it's blue now. And it's linked to only this. So only items for these workbenches will go right here. Nothing else. So and that's what the hollow will be good for. Oop, deliver that. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. I'll just start a contract in the background just so while we're chit-chatting, we can have some stuff going. Ducks! Why not, right? 40 ducks. Execute. And at the same time, we'll do 10 more buckets. Okay. So that's just going to keep a, keep things moving, keep our people 
working while we chat. Let's wrap this up. So, like I said, so now everything that comes for these two will only go here. The only reason I didn't set this up because it's kind of redundant to have it set up for the entire room. So, you know, that's just what that is. And now the hauler, you know, if she stopped being lazy, she would have took all those over there for us too. But whatever. Priority a little lower for this. So now, like, when these guys put a product in here that needs to be assembled, Hauler will take it, put it right over here. What makes it great? Sell those as well. So, alright guys, but that's going to wrap it up. So, yeah, right there, like we saw, we've got the tutorial in there. Kind of fix this room here. Put that there. The decoration in here. Put you right in the corner. And I'm also going to put in um you know bro myself why not just to throw this in just the times to it now obviously when you first start off you're not gonna be able to put these statues in the times to it you'll just have to put something else in but generally it's not even necessary to put too much in, in the beginning spread your buildings around so but all right perfect so there we go guys so yeah hopefully you like this if you do hit that like button below and if you don't like it hit that dislike that still tells me something you know i'd rather you watch the video not like it and tell me by hitting that dislike button so i can you know kind of gauge what you're looking at here all right and if you are enjoying this also make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can come back next time for when i get episode two for you and anything else you may see here all right guys that's going to do it for today this has been shabby do and i hope you're enjoying little big perk truck because i really do love this game it's really fun so do check it out all right guys you have a good night